up, guys? Currently, I, okay, I kind of want to just give. Okay, okay, I just don't feel comfortable. Fuck, I don't feel comfortable trying to trying to talk like that. So I'm gonna do what I've always done before when I would vlog, and that's just talk to the camera. I don't know, man. It's been so long since I vlogged. I've been out of Jersey for over a year. I actually. <laughs> came back on the 12th so currently i'm at my mom's place right now um helping out with some things around here i had some family business to take care of and you know i don't feel like sharing too much about that but most of that's taken care of uh i'm getting my brothers out of the house as well so hopefully i'll have them move out with me there's like a lot on me to be jumping around to like seeing different houses apartment complexes making calls emails while also trying to you know stay in a deficit, go to the gym consistently, keep up with my client work. It's definitely been a lot going on. Um, and also just, you know, being at this house gives me a lot of uh, anxiety, I guess. Um, there was a lot of, it's not like, you know, it's a bad place. And there's no, it's not like that entirely, but, um, you know, just a lot of shit has happened over my life. And, you know, it brings back memories that I'd rather not, you know, feel so. I've been pretty pretty good about it so far and I've been doing my best to, you know, stay in my habits, my routines and keep consistent and I want to be uploading more consistently on YouTube. I, I, I want to do two to three days a week, or sorry, two to three, two to three videos a month, don't quote me on that. Everything's been going really, really well and I'm really happy to be back in Jersey. I really miss Jersey. Um, there was just things about here that I realized I missed when I was away. Like, I feel like I didn't appreciate as much as what was around me uh, when I was currently here in the headspace and the mindset that I was in. And I was still trying to work out of my depression and my breakup and trying to honestly figure out who the fuck I am. So leaving for the year, I know it sounds like hippie as hell, but like it really gave me an outside perspective on my own life and helped me realize that the things that were happening around me like some things of course are in my control and I can change them and that's what I learned being away is that there was a lot of things that I really did have control over and I could change but then I also realized there was a lot of things that I didn't have control over and there's a lot of things I couldn't change and the combination of those two I couldn't differentiate what was what and I overall just was spiraling in this circle of not being able to figure out what to do about anything I wanted to come back and I wanted to spend the summer here you know be with my brothers, my cousins, my mom, my dad, friends, you know. I wanna, I wanna do it right. I, uh, you know, we don't have, fuck, I don't wanna get super <laughs> deep, but, you know, you really do have a finite amount of time and it really does matter what you do at that time. And do not waste years of your life at any point in time worrying, stressing, being miserable. And not saying everything is going to be happy, hunky dory, and you should always be smiling and smile through the pain because toxic, toxic, uh, toxic positivity is still, you know, fucking wrong. Like embrace your emotions, emotions, accept them, and be aware of them. But, you know, nothing in life is too terrible. Nothing is too bad to fix. And honestly, like the biggest thing I've kind of been living by is no matter what, you're gonna be all right. Yeah, that's kind of a little update there. Um, aside from that, I. In terms of fitness and stuff like that, I, uh, you know, I've been in a deficit for about, what is today? The 24th of June. I started March, April. Yes, yeah, I, I started, I think I started a deficit in March. I was 215 or like probably like 210, something like that. I was 215 peak bulk. I pulled down to 210 because I felt like a little too much. I'm currently cooking food, so I'm not going to take too much longer, but, um, yeah, I started my deficit in March, so it's been a little March, April, May. So it's been about 16 weeks of deficiting, very, very like loosely tracking for the first two months, the first like eight to 12 weeks. And then uh, over the, up through May and June, I uh, started like actually tracking my calories and I've been getting pretty freaking lean, man. Um, actually, I think this is the best I've ever looked in my life. So in terms of fitness, I'm really happy. Very proud of myself. Um, there's, you know, still things I want to accomplish. And I've been taking a break from powerlifting, uh, just for health reasons, joints, you know, just handing a lot of heavyweight, high load, 
low, like low volume training is is fine. I can do it. Uh, I've just noticed, you know, as I've been getting older, I need to be a little more cautious of, you know, how I train, and you know, I'm just taking breaks between powerlifting, bodybuilding. I'm trying to prioritize one or the other, not trying to do both at the same time. Um, and honestly, I'm really enjoying bodybuilding style training right now, so uh, that's what I want to do, you know? Right now I'm cooking some ground turkey, 99% lean ground turkey. Uh, pretty much I eat this, I eat about two pounds of uh, ground meat a day, or just meat a day, whether it's ground beef, ground turkey, ground chicken, um, always ground something. I have some eggs over there. Some whole organic, non-GMO dog. Uh, so I'm gonna probably throw in some eggs here. I have some errands I have to go run today. I'm running out of fruits. Um, I'm pretty. I think this is what this video will be because like, I don't really know what I should be doing on YouTube anymore. So um, I'm just kind of re gonna record stuff that I think is relevant for the most part. And uh, so yeah, I'm pretty much gonna be going to the grocery store. So you got a little more fruit, strawberries, blackberries, blueberry, blueberries, avocados. I'm probably gonna pick up like two pounds of ground beef because I have about four pounds left. So I'd probably be running out of protein meat in the next two days. So I wanna pick up two more to give me, you know, a little, little more leeway time so I'm not running to the grocery store all the time. I think that's it. Really, it's just gonna be a fruit trip because I need my fruit. I eat it every morning. I have, I didn't show you this morning, so that's a shame, but I had 56 grams, or sorry, 89 grams of strawberries. I ran out of strawberries, so I'd normally I have 200 plus. Um, 100 grams of blueberries and 80 grams of blackberries, uh, as well as I had 200 milliliters of fat-free Fairlife milk and 100 milliliters of the chocolate milk with two shots of espresso, two Splenda. Uh, pretty good, I, I fuck with it. Yeah, I'm pretty much gonna have two eggs, <laughs> the ground turkey, um, and then I'm gonna run to ShopRite and go get a little more groceries. Also, take your damn vitamins pretty much to fish oil, which I highly recommend. Like if you're gonna take anything 100%, start taking fish oil. But aside from fish oil, uh, multivitamin here, lysin, uh, magnesium, zinc, and D3. And this is like a biotin hair, skin, and nail pill. Uh, because you know, we want the nice curly long locks, but you don't have to take all that crap, but really what's important is like a consistent, like multivitamin, fish oil, um, and honestly, zinc, magnesium, and D3, I've noticed, like, really help out a lot. But just, like, energy levels, uh, there is, like, some studies linking, uh, God, I sound like I'm talking out of my ass. There are some studies, not some studies, higher testosterone levels are definitely linked to good magnesium, zinc, and D3 consumption. Um, I don't know if you're aware of the Gorilla Sigma, but it has pretty much those three in it as well as like a bunch of other compounds too. It's like a natural test booster. And I've always been like skeptical of test boosters. And honestly, if you're like a young buck, you know, you probably don't need to, um, but it probably doesn't hurt to take if you have the money extra to spare. Um, but mostly like test boosters definitely help out those that are, you know, a little older. I mean, I'm 26, not like I'm old, but you know, never too young to start is what I'm trying to say. So I've been making like this type of taco recently. I know it all by heart, so I don't even have to have to track out anything anymore. So this is probably probably about eight ounces of ground beef or ground turkey. Might even be like nine ounces roughly. But I eat the whole thing every single day so I don't actually have to weigh it. Usually it turns out to be like, this is probably like 15 grams of cheese. I'll probably put a little bit. I go for 20, so give me a sec. About 20 grams of cheese right there. So this is, this is the kicker. So this light ranch, 60 calories, five fat, four carb. Uh, really good like you know if you have these cravings for like buffalo chicken that type of thing me so about one tablespoon on each might be a little under one tablespoon on each one of these and then you throw on a little hot sauce i'm gonna run out so i have to grab my other one in a sec this is a uh, frank's heat you know it's, it's a different type of hot sauce but also this uh or this is this is hank's heat but the Frank's red hot sauce is also perfectly fine. And this has zero calories, so you can smother your shit with this if you want. So it's basically like a buffalo, buffalo ranch cheese wrap. When I wrap it all together and I took 
the advice of some of my followers on IG to toast the tortilla, which honestly was a game changer. I don't know why I never did that in the first place, but thank you to the guy that's been commenting on my tacos every single week to tell me to toast the tortilla because it's a game changer. It definitely makes a difference, but I'm about to house this in a sec because I'm starving.